from rivers, waterfalls, and valleys down south to the white sand beaches and breathtaking cliff lines up north, Guam is truly a place where adventures are all around and outdoor activities are endless. Join us as we learn more about the geological makeup of the place we call home. I'm Joanna Delphin and this is Dig It. Geology, it's the study of rocks, land, and land formation. Geology teaches us more about the earth and its development. At 214 square miles, Guam's geology is pretty unique. Mark Cruz, the Regional Environmental Coordinator from Naval Facilities Engineering Command Marianas, gave us a front row seat to one of the most spectacular views on island in the village of Piti. Basically, it's very distinct. There's definitely two areas on this island that are widely different. On the north you have the ups, uplifted limestone plateau so the cliffs range from about 300 to 600 feet around the northern half of Guam all the way around the edges and the south we have all the mountain ranges down here on the west side of the island we have a mountain range and it leads to a lot of valleys and lowlands to the east of the island. The limestone in northern Guam was formed by coral reefs that were once underwater. Over time, the reefs were uplifted and are now exposed, which left us with cliffs. So it's generally flat, and um, as you can see, it's the, the rocks are, um, that's where all the so source of our drinking water is. You have a lot of what we call karst geology, which is all the, the uh, sinkholes and all the uh, gaps in the limestone where all the fresh water is stored from the rain. And on the south, it's actually part of a rim of a volcano. And uh, so you have a lot of this basalt, which is, um, magma that has cooled under the earth and it's very hard to erode so you have what's left is the harder basalt that's still on top and that creates when the rain comes it creates these valleys and waterfalls. Down south it doesn't percolate so much because it's so volcanic and clay that we have all the rivers. So we have surface water for example treatment plants to get our drinking water down south unlike the north where we have a lot of wells. As an avid mountain biker, paddler, swimmer, runner and snorkeler Cruz shared how he best takes advantage of Guam's landscape and weather year-round and reminds everyone to keep our island beautiful. So the great thing about Guam, even though it's a relatively small little island in the Pacific, it has a, a wide variety of landscapes and terrain. So you can be exposed to the jungles down south and the beautiful rivers and the waterfalls all over the south, or you can go up north to the nice white sand beaches. Well, I think the key really is to try a lot of different things. So, for example, you want to take advantage of when there's wind, when there's waves, and when there's rain, and when there's no rain. So, for example, if you're in a mountain biking, it's, you can only ride the red dirt in the dry season. So, during the wet season, when it's windier, or there's more waves, you might want to try surfing, or windsurfing, or kiteboarding. And there's times when there's no wind, and that's the like best time to snorkel, scuba dive, or even a paddleboard, or paddling. So, you know, take advantage of all the aspects, the wind, no wind, waves, no waves, dry season, wet season. And as long as you have a variety of activities, Guam is an awesome place to be. Though the island's beautiful mountains, rivers, cliff lines, and waterfalls are right at our doorstep, it is important to remember to conserve our environment for future generations to come. Don't leave any trash um, out there. If you see trash, pick it up yourself. Also, when you're out hiking and mountain biking, stay on established trails. Um, don't go off trying to make your own new trails. The younger generation that are growing up, if they are exposed to that type of activities and they have the knowledge of what, why it's so bad, what are the impacts of these large-scale uh, wildfires that are man-made, um, then there might be a change of thought in the next generation. Um, because the impacts are, you know, more siltation to the rivers and then it gets out to the ocean and smothers the coral reef, which prevents fish from, uh, you know, producing and we have less production on our coral reefs. So thank you again so much for joining us today and talking to us about Guam's beautiful mm -hmm. environment and uh, everything that our outdoors has to offer. Uh, and thank you so much Guam for joining us today as well. And feel free to let us know, did you, did you dig, dig it? it?